Now let's look at our previous example of the NPC coming up to our, our player hero here and talking to him. If we wanted this to be a opening cinematic for a level, we might want to consider having a fade in, or if it's the end of a level, we might want to have a fade out to give us a transition to the next part of the game. So in order to add a fade in or a fade out to a sequence, we just come up to uh, the add button here and click fade track. Now the fade track has a simple value bar here, which uh, we uh, can key the value in an integer between 0 and 1. So 0 is a uh, completely visible, and let's say over 5 frames here, from 0 we're going to have a, a black screen and then fade out and then the animation play. So we will set this to 1 and you will see in the viewport the entire level goes completely black and I'm just going to set a keyframe and then as the, uh, the cinematic plays out it fades in. We can uh, stretch this out to, to 10 if we thought that was too quick. So now we have the cinematic fading in and the animation spawning or the NPC spawning and coming to talk to the hero player.